Well, I'm boozy, you big northern. <laughs> With the influx of new metal being launched, there's usually a scrap over who attends the press rides, and the 2021 ZX10R was no different. But instead of a game of Soggy Biscuit, we decided to send the man who's lapped the Isle of Man TT course at over 126 mile an hour on the previous generation 10R. The Flying Fruit Salad. We're at Bedford Autodrome, we're here for the launch of the 2021 Kawasaki ZX-10R and ZX-10RR. The sun's about to come out, so let's take it for a ride. Is not slow. <laughs> Woo, man! It's a, uh, it's a little, it's a little while since I've ridden a superbike on a track. It's not easy. What do you reckon, then, Michael? Oh, she's fast. It's uh, after one session. It's, it's still the ZX10 I remember. It, it feels a lot like the old bike in, in some ways, but you can tell they've done a, done a few bits already. Um, there's loads of power. Like Some people wanted a bit more power, but for me, there's, there's loads of power. It's just all at the very top. Um, but it's easy to ride, it's, it's, it's forgiving, it's, you know, it's, it's not as manic as some of the others. Um, I liked it. The Kawasaki ZX-10. It might have won six out of the last six World Superbike Championships, but it hasn't really been flavour of the month as far as road bikes are concerned for a little bit of time now. Now, it's not that it's too slow, it's just that it makes all its power at the very top end, and in all fairness, the tech is a little bit archaic compared to some of its superbike contemporaries. But despite that, I'm a bit of a Kawasaki fanboy. In fact, I've been a ZX-10 owner for about 10 years now. I've raced them in British Superstock, Isle of Man TT, here, there and everywhere. So when we got the press release through about this new model, I was quite excited and I couldn't wait to see what they'd done to close the gap up. If I'm being honest, I was a little bit disappointed with the press release because, you know, it was all about downforce. You know, that's been the name of the game for this update. They reckon that with the integrated wings and the redesigned seat unit, there's an extra 17% downforce, which, yeah, all good and well. I don't live in a wind tunnel and I don't think you do either, so maybe it works on a, on a big fast superbike circuit, but whatever. To be fair, that's not all they've done. They've made a few ergonomic changes as well. The foot pegs are five mil higher. The bars are a little bit wider. That's a Johnny Ray touch. A, there's a new dash, which is long overdue. This bike's got cruise control now, just to remind you that you're not actually on Johnny Ray's superbike in case there was any confusion. They've done a bit of work on the chassis too, the, Swing arm is 8mm longer, the forks are offset by an extra 2mm, so that means the bike is now an extra 10mm longer um, altogether. You get slightly softer springs in the forks and a stiffer spring in the rear, which to be fair you probably need with that extra length in the swing arm. Engine wise, they've not really gone to town with this update. 
The inlets have had a bit of a tickle and first, second and third gear are a little bit shorter which definitely gets my vote because the old bike had a massive first gear which with the super revy engine sometimes made the bike feel a little bit lazy and a little bit lethargic unless you was you know, really on the pipe. It's got 200 brake horsepower, it's got 114 newton metres of torque and if you want one it'll cost you £15,799. Other than that Still all very ZX10. Here we go. Well, this is it. This is my third go now on the ZX10. I've just just got used to it, and um, in typical typical UK fashion it's just started raining which is a bit of a nightmare because this is an MSV event we're not allowed to run helmet cameras so we've tried to rig up a bit of a system whereby we can run a camera on the bike and and you can listen to what I've got to say in my helmet I don't know whether you can hear me I might just be talking nonsense for the sake of it wet track slick tyres 200 brake horsepower deep joint so many revs to play with does it move, they don't with the first press to crash on the ZX-10 launch oh, that bump. that extra wind protection when you flat out is nice, definitely noticeable and that's one of the things that is an advantage on track and will definitely translate to a more comfortable bike when you're in a road setting oh shit oh Bit of ABS pump in there. On the road, I can't see it being a problem, but on the track, if you're in a position where you need to help break someone's stuff up the inside of them, it's uh, it's not going to do you any favours. The length of this bike makes it feel like it's a little bit difficult to pull back onto a line if you just. If you just run wide a little bit, you can't always, you can't always get it back to where you want it. Oh! So we've got a bit of dry weather now, so... Oh, there's a few big bumps in this track that you've got to watch out for. And the suspension's reasonably soft. It does an all right job of soaking them up. Got a bit of a uh, bit of ABS pump in there, unfortunately. Be nice if you could uh, if you could turn the ABS on the off on this bike, but not that you can. The initial opening of the floor can be a little bit snatchy in first gear, so you've got to be a little bit careful with it. But once you're rolling, it's a really really smooth bike again. The, the soft suspension, although it does make it feel a bit of a meal sometimes flopping it from one side of the tail to the other, it means you get loads of grip. It rewards smooth riding this bike. If you're too manic with it, it'll tie itself in knots. But if you're smooth with your inputs, get on with the floor. There aren't many things faster, I don't think. Well, Boothy, you big northern bastard. <laughs>
I mean, I, I came here today thinking that I might be a little bit jealous, but I'm insanely jealous. Yeah, I would be. The, the press briefing earlier on, it was, there was lots of focus on Johnny Ray and his input. He's five foot seven and a world superbike racer. We're not. <laughs> yeah, I, I think one of the things that they did was they've lifted the, the foot pegs five mil. Yeah. Um, I didn't like it. No. They were too high. I think part of that, you've got sort of floppy road foot pegs on this. So when you're trying to move your body around and that thing where you move your foot back up to go into a corner, I was kind of dragging the thing up and having to have a bit of another go. I didn't like that. It probably works if you you probably don't have to be a superbike racer for it, for that to work. You probably just have to be a bit smaller. They've moved the handlebars forward. I did like that. Yes. Um, that a bit more leverage. Uh, Do you think that'll be comfy on the road as well? I think so. Yeah. 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 The screen's a bit taller. That was another Johnny so, Ray. Yeah. Um, uh, it makes it not only does it look nicer. Yeah. Because the other one was just ridiculous, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. That looks nicer, but there's definitely going to be some. Uh, yeah. yeah physical pleasure I, I think there. I think it's better on a track because you can get out the wind yeah and it'll be better on the road because you, you, you you're more out the wind and what about the gearing it was it f so first second and third are shorter which it needed yeah um, if I'm being honest it could it could probably do for them to be a little bit shorter still because you've got such a revy engine you need to be at the top of the rev range for the thing to get out of its own way so the slower corners there was there was a couple of corners around here that uh, you needed to use first gear and they weren't that slow so i can imagine if you're on a if you're on a track with really tight corners it's it's almost going to be that sort of one two five slip in the clutch thing <laughs> on the way out um but saying that it's better than the old bike yeah. but the old bike did have such a tall first gear and i suppose if you know if, if you're if you're racing or you're doing track days a lot then you can change the change the, the I was gearing say, car. That'll you be one know, of you the can, first things yeah. you do when you buy one of these is going to yeah. be yeah. change the gearing. Yeah. The, the engine is, it sounds revvy still, there's not a lot of the, the work being done to uh, the engine for this year, is it? No. There's not I a lot. I think the, the work that they've done to the engine is to get it through, to, they've, they've got it through Euro 5 without losing a load of power. Yeah. That's what they've done. They've, yeah. not, they've not made it as super fast. It is fast. It's 200 brake horsepower. It's yeah. fast. Judging from everyone's looks today, it yeah. feels quick as it, well. It is fast. I think, you know, I think if we was to put it up against the rest of the super bikes, then then you really realise, you know, the, the just how fast it is. But yeah, it's definitely not slow. And because the engine is so revvy and you need to be at the top of the rev range to to get the best out of it, it's just an exciting bike to ride because you know you've you've really got to you've really got to think about what yeah. you're doing. And um, so I loved it. I, I've always liked ZX tens. You know, they've not been. They're maybe not as fashionable as some of the Italian stuff or some of the European stuff, but I like them. I think they're I think they're exciting. I mean, ultimately, they have lacked. And let's not let's not beat around the bush here. As a super stock bike, as a race bike, as a world super bike, yeah, they're unbeatable. Yeah, in, in a, yeah. you know, yeah, you yeah. look at the 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 super stock reign from you know I rode when I when the first the second gen of the, the new shape was it 2011? Yeah, 2011 yeah came yeah. out and yeah. everyone had them yeah and yeah. there was a reason for that exactly, and i yeah. loved it once i figured out how to ride it i loved it and they were the best bikes but as a road bike and as a standard bike they haven't been they, they've up not to scratch, they, have they? The, they were really good in 2011 and they've they've, they've not made they made a jump in 2016 yeah. this is another little step forward but they've not they've not made the jumps that um that the rest of the manufacturers no. have you know that, that this isn't that different to a 2011 ZX10. It is different, but do you know? I mean, they've only just put a new dash on it. That dashboard lasted nearly 10 years. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, it, it was in desperate need of a dashboard, and it, mm. the the buttons are not the easiest. You know, the, the menus and screens and stuff. It's not the most easy to use. The ABS doesn't turn off, which is yeah a bit of a nightmare. Um, uh, this morning, I thought the ABS was all right. It, it, you know, I could I could brake reasonably hard. It wasn't causing me a, causing me a problem. When I started getting a little bit faster, um, there was a couple of times where it it, 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 it pumps the lever out, you know, you, and and then you miss the miss your apex or miss the turn completely. It, it, it's only when you're pushing that extra little bit, it wouldn't be a problem on the road unless you'd maybe got something wrong and you and you're anchor, anchoring up a little bit more. But then I suppose that's that's when you need the ABS yeah. to. And I mean, other there. manufacturers have the same braking setup and still manage to I know, yeah. have a setting which works it, it, on track. It's, so. it's, for some reason, um, the, the, the Japanese 
yeah. seem to struggle with yeah. a, making ABS work. Yeah. Most of the you're European right. bikes yeah, are right, all right. Yeah. The, the yeah, Suzuki's exactly the same. Like, that's the reason they couldn't come to the mega test last year. Yeah. There's no point. Yeah, you should be able to just turn it off or, or turn it to such a, because I think that's what some of the manufacturers do. They say, it's you know level level one on 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 some bikes. You can't even feel it. No. So let's have a system like that. Yeah. I, I loved riding it, and it is a, it is a really good package on a track. But yeah, that was one of the things the brakes that just let the package down. I think if you, it'd be the thing that stopped you going any faster. Yeah. Um, the suspension is probably the other uh, other area. To be fair, we didn't faff around with it. We didn't. No. We didn't make any changes to it today. Um, you've got softer springs in the forks. A harder spring in the shock. I think you could do with a harder spring still. Um, when I used to race the model before this, everyone ran really stiff shocks. I think it's just the way the linkage works. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, you just, I've been like that for the yeah for 2011 bikes. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So you got to run a hard a hard spring in the shock. I think I think probably Johnny Ray's told them they need to put a stiffer spring in the shock, and they've put a stiffer spring in, but. It could do to be even stiffer still because you still get that thing when you when you're in the middle of a corner, it's it's not it's not the lightest bike to get from one side of the t to the other. Or there's a there's a at the end of the back straight here. There's like a really fast left right. It would definitely go through there better with a with a more support in yeah. the rear. Um, and talking of the chassis, the chassis. Yeah, I mean, quite a few changes really. I mean, I know yeah. it's really uh, on paper it doesn't look a lot, like a lot, but quite a big geometry yeah. change isn't yeah. it and yeah. how does that translate you've, you've, into you've got you've got an extra eight mil length on the swing arm another two mil of fork offset which which they're saying equates to 10 mil which yeah. eight to carry the one that's 10. yeah yeah, yeah. uh there's these always have felt like a long bike haven't they? yes they have you yeah. know you, you, no, I, I don't know many people that said do you know what the zx10 needs longer wheelbase <laughs> uh, yeah uh, it's just me that needs a bit more length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe that's one of the, as well as the suspension being a little bit soft, maybe that's one of the things that makes it feel a little bit lethargic to get from one side to the other. It's not, it's, it's not heavy, um, but it's just some of the other super bikes are a little bit, are a little bit sharper. It's still a very easy bike to ride. The, the throttle or, or the way the power comes in, because it's all at the top, it means for the most part, when you get on the gas, you're not like, you're not oh, you're yeah. looking like that. It, it, it's smooth. In first gear, in the, in the hairpin and, and the, the slow bits, the, the, that initial throttle pickup was a little bit jerky, but that's... That's Euro 5, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, and I think probably if we put it in one of the, one of the lower maps, it, it, it might smooth that off, but you don't want to do that when you're on track, do you? No. You want to go in full fat mode. Yeah. Um, once, once, the, once the throttle's picked up, it's, the power is so smooth all the way. So a big part of uh, the updates for this year was the integrated wings and it's like 17% more downforce. Yeah. Um, I, lot of, I mean, I kind of quite like the, the subtlety of it, but is it 17% more downforce on, yeah. the, on the track? I like the way they've done it. Yeah. Um, I, it I think sometimes, uh, the, the first wings that you used to see on bikes were yeah. quite exciting, okay. but now it's like a little bit, everyone's doing it. So it's nice to be, yeah, we've got a bit of downforce, but it's it's hidden away. Uh, could I feel it? No. 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 Uh, I, Perhaps, perhaps a back-to-back -back with the old one, you might feel it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think the only way of really telling is taking the wings off, putting the standard fairing or the yeah, last or year's fairing like on this bike. Taping the wings up or yeah. something like that, yeah. yeah. It, it's, again, I think you need to be riding it at, at a particular level for that to A, be noticeable and B, be beneficial. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what that level is. Don't know if I'm at it. <laughs> Probably not, to be fair. Um, it, it, it's one of them things, though, isn't it? It's, it might be a little bit of a gimmick. It might be a little bit of a token, but you've kind of got to do it, haven't yeah, you? you, you know, it's like the dashboard. You, the, yeah. the, the old dashboard actually worked fine. You didn't need a TFT dash, but... Oh, you did. I, that dash was like... Yeah, I mean... It, it, it looked like an Amstrad. It, um, it did a little bit, didn't it? Amstrad, but, 1980s setup, yeah. But it doesn't take away from the from the the the, the experience no. of riding, do you know? No. It, but everyone else has got a, a posh dashboard, so you need it. Everyone else has got yeah. downforce and wings. Yeah. Everyone else has got Brembo's. Um, it's just just one of them, I think. 
Uh, just about to have a go on the ZX10 RR. That's the, the green one, you can only get them in green. They're another nine grand, but you do get uh, Pankle Conrods, Pankle Pistons, um, Pankle Gudgeon Pins, That all that stuff together saves 500 grams. You get an extra 400 RPM at the top and March Senior Wheels, so uh, let's see what it's like. Oh, it's your ride, mate. Oh, yes, here we go. <laughs> That's the timing. Sorry, you all the tires up for me. Sorry, you all the tires up for me. Hold the door, nice, nice one. Too well. Come on, Michael. So you had a little salty on the yes. on the ZX10 RR. I did, yeah. Um, yeah. That was a bit unfortunate, wasn't it? It was a little bit damp. Yeah, but it was. It was yeah, damp, it was yeah. it was raining, yeah. and the thing was, uh, it was. I thought it was on slicks, but it wasn't. It was actually on uh, supercross, I think. Yes. But I tell you what, it, even the pace I was riding it, nice and steady, uh, you could instantly feel the the wheels, the the lighter wheels. If I'm being honest, that's all I could really feel. It, yeah. it didn't. It, it, oh, and the extra revs. You could hear the extra revs. Yeah. You can, yeah. you know, you can audibly hear the, the revs the, the, just standing here. I don't know how much extra power there is in them. I, I mean, I, well, it's I think one PS, it's isn't one it? Yeah, yeah it, it's nothing. Yeah. But it's just if you can use them. Like, there's a couple of corners where you know you, you, you're banging it off the limiter, and you think, ah, oh, shall I go up? Shall I change? And then you know, you know, when you if you change up, you'd have to change back down. So on that thing, because it hasn't got the extra revs, you just. Bah, 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 bah. On that thing, on the R, uh, on the R, R, you can just you can. It's like an over over drive. Yeah. You yeah, can yeah. just let it sing, and it just makes it a bit easier. You can carry that gear, um, and it sounds beautiful. I'm not convinced on the colour. No, um, it's a bit of a strange one, but they know that they're all going to be racers. Um, yeah. But I wish they like Ducati in, in some ways, where they know they they will sell a chunk for people who want to ride them on the road. Because I mean, the, the, yeah. with those wheels and with this colour scheme, it would look stunning. I, 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 I mean, know I've really saying. grown into this. I've, since yeah. I've st seen it in a fish today, I've really grown into yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, this looks way better than yeah. that one, doesn't it? But yeah. you're right, no one's going no to buy that and ride it on the road. Maybe people will, but... Well, I think there will be a few, yeah, won't they? Yeah. They will, but you'd be, you'd be stupid. Stupid. Stup because it's an extra £9,000. Yeah. And Buy one of these put wheels in rims. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. really, you're not getting, you're not actually getting. All right, yeah, you've got pankle, pistons, conrods, pins. Lovely, yeah. but it doesn't make any more power. That's for in, Johnny it, Ray, not for you, exactly. Mate. Yeah. yeah, and and all right, if you if you put a pipe on it, put kit ECU and loom on it, do this, do that, do the other, then yeah, you'll have a you'll have an awesome track bike or an awesome race bike. But for an extra nine thousand pounds. But it's but it's not an extra nine thousand pounds because you've you've got to put an exhaust pipe on it to make it worth it. So there's two grand. You've got to put kit ECU and loom on it. That's probably two and a half grand. So you you you're the thick end of thirty k. And yeah, you would have a smashing bike. But I, I don't know how much better it would be than a stock one with a with light wheels, kit ECU, and loom. that's what I've got. I've got a one not one of these, a two thousand and eighteen ZX ten R. It's got kit ECU and loom. Um, and it's it's as good as and it's 201 brake horsepower genuine brake horsepower because yeah, yeah. that isn't 200 brake horsepower it's probably 200 brake horsepower at the crank which is cheating really isn't it yeah. i don't know why they do that it's well, cheating because, because it, there's so many different va variables with dynos and stuff and i understand why they've done that to some extent but yeah it's you know but, but I, it, we don't it's like saying i've got a 12 inch cock yeah you know yeah <laughs> sort of yeah <laughs> um but interestingly, I was chatting to the guys at Kawasaki earlier. They're saying that um, they still have a few more left. You know, I, I was under the impression that these 500 worldwide mm -hmm. would be sold and gone. That was it. They've got a, an allocation coming in June, July. Yeah. And there's still a, quite a few that haven't been sold. So if you really want one, you can still have one. All yeah. teams can still have one. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah I mean, if you're a, if you're a race team mm. and you're going to be racing competitively or you've got a few quid to chuck at it, then, yeah, get it. But... Um, for my money, you'd have to be racing competitively. It's, it's, it'd be a bit pointless on the road. And 15 grand for the base model, um, that's, in today's money, that's a bargain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people will say, yeah. people will say, oh, that's not a bargain, that's not a budget bike, but in the scheme of super bikes, it's, yeah, that's, it's cheap. That's, that's cheap. Yeah, mega test soon. 
Uh, yeah. Don't know where it's going to be, where, what, what it's going to be. So, go-kart uh, track. Go-kart track, probably, yeah. In, uh, Wilton Mill. <laughs> at Teesside or Wilton Mill, but looking forward to riding it and, uh, yeah, mm. giving it some uh, proper beans against its rivals. Giving it the berries.